Hi, this is Jesse Liberty for Telerik. Today we're going to continue our look at the RAD docking control. RAD docking is part of the Telerik RAD controls for Silverlight and WPF control suite for .NET and XAML development. We're going to take a look at some of the things you can do with the RAD docking control to make it look and behave more the way you want it to for your particular application. We'll look at removing the menu, disabling the close button. We'll look at how you can set conditions for where the panes can dock, freezing the layout, and how you can remove the header. To get started, let's create a new application. We'll call that raddocking.menu, save it as a Silverlight 5 application, and when the Teller Configuration Wizard comes up, we'll choose Docking, which will load Docking and all of its dependent references. Let's add a RAD Docking Control set up with a single pane showing some simple text in its content. Let's run that. When it comes up, we can see that we've got a single pane. If I right click, I can see the context menu that tells me that I can set this to floating or dockable and etc. Let's return to our code, and in the code behind, we're going to get a reference to the pane and set its context menu template to null, which means that we're going to null out that context menu. And so when we run the application and we right click on the header, we no longer get that context menu. There's more than one way to accomplish the same thing. We just did this in code behind. Let's comment that out and go to the XAML. And in the XAML, find the rad pane. And once again, we can set context menu template. And this time, what we're going to do is in braces, we're going to use x colon null, which namespaces the null. And when we run it, we get the same effect which is that when we right click on the pane, we no longer have our context menu. Let's take out the context menu null, returning us to our starting position. Notice that there is a close button on our pane, and when we click that, it closes the pane. We'd like to remove that functionality. We can do that by going to the pane in the XAML and setting can user close to false. When we run that, notice that the close button is no longer visible. Let's take that out of the XAML, save the file, and open up the code behind. And what we're going to do is set a property on rad pane. The property is can user close, and we're going to set that to false. That's going to have the same effect as what we just did in the XAML. Let's test that by running the application. And notice that once again, there is no close button. Run the application and right click on the pane and move it around. Notice that the close button appears, but has no impact. Now, the reason you're seeing it jumping back and forth between full size and partial size is I'm clicking on it twice, and that makes a double click. If you double click anywhere in the header, it alternates between full size and floating. But the close button, although it appears, is disabled. Let's comment that out. Return to the XAML. We're going to remove the docking that we had and put in one with two panes on one docking container. Let's take a look at what that looks like. And you can see we can move the whole pane around and we have pane one and pane two at the bottom. Notice the compass points where we can dock, top, left, right, bottom, and center. We can constrain where the pane can dock. The first thing that we have to do is go up to the definition of the rad docking control and set preview show compass which is an event that we want to handle and it will put an event handler for us we'll save that and go over to the code behind there's our event handler and it takes two arguments an object and something of type telerik windows controls docking preview show compass event args and it's that which we will use in order to find the compass. And within the compass, we check is left indicator visible equal false. And we can do the same thing with is right indicator visible. And we'll set that false. Now the left and right indicators will no longer be visible 
nor will you be able to dock to either side. Let's run that and see how that plays out. When I move this to dockable, I get my top and bottom and center, but my left and right have been removed. I'm not constrained to just setting the left and right. I can also set is top indicator visible, is bottom indicator visible, and is center indicator visible all to false. If I run it now, none of the indicators are visible and it's not possible to dock. Let's go ahead and comment that out because we do want to have docking be enabled. Come back to mainpage.xaml. We'll collapse and remove the rad docking control that we have been working with and add one that has four panes, each with a little bit of text. Let's take a quick look at what that looks like before we begin. We're going to need to stretch out our browser a bit to make room for all of the panes. And so you can see pane one on the left, two on the right, three on top and four on the bottom. If we like this design a lot and we want to freeze it, there are a few steps that we can take to freeze the design in place. The first thing to do is to find each pane. Let's start with pane one and set can user close to false. That will remove the close button on each of the panes. We're going to go to pane two and set can user close to false and we'll do the same for panes three and pane four. That takes care of the close button on all of the panes. Let's take a quick look to confirm and you can see that none of the panes can now be closed. Returning to the XAML and let's scroll up to pane one. In addition to saying can user close, we're going to set can user pin to false. We'll do that with all four and when we run that you see that not only can you not close the panes, you cannot pin the panes. Coming back up to pane one, we're going to set can float to false, and we'll do that with all four. Run the application, and now notice that floating is not available for any of the panes. And if I try to click and drag, nothing happens. Let's go back to pane one, take out the header, and set pane header visibility to collapse, and you can see right away that the header has disappeared. Let's run the application and on pane one there is no header whatsoever which is another very strong way to get rid of all of these controls and to freeze these panes in place. I hope you've seen how easy it is to manipulate the rad docking control to look and behave the way you want for your application. For Telerik, this is Jesse Liberty. Thank you very much. I look forward to talking with you again soon. And please do continue to tune in to the rest of the series on the RAD docking control. Thank you.